hello guy it's retron channel on youtube so have you ever wondered that your internet was so slow your internet network was so slow that you're using inside your house your office or even your own hotspot probably someone connect to that and you cannot do anything about that they've been using your wi-fi they've been using your network they're doing a lot of heavy stuff and it dragged the speed of your internet well there is now a solution for that so in this video i'm going to give you a tutorial on how you could actually managing those who are using your network using your own macbook computer or a window operating system so in this video we are using the application called p2p over so this p2p over is a window based app so this can only be installed inside a window operating system but if you're having a mac and you want to use this app as well well there is a solution to that we are using it with a virtual operating system that we are installing it's called virtual box and you can run window operating system inside your mac so this is already uh, stated in the previous video that i am talking about the way you could install window on your mac os so if you haven't checked it go back and check it out to see how you could run operating system of window inside your mac os okay so now let's get into our part so i am running macbook right now uh, it's a mac os operating system and i have my virtual window installed and now I am also have this P2P over application installed inside the virtual window as well. So it's very simple. I have also provided a link to download this application. It's in my Google Drive and the link is also put inside in the description. Also to be noticed, it is a raw file, a zip file. So in order to, in order to extract it, there is a password to it. And I also leave the password down there as well. So once you have the file extract, just install it. It's very simple, just a few clicks and it will run. So now uh, I have it installed. I'm going to open it up. Okay. And then we're going to click on yes to open that. Okay. So it will run. okay right now it is running and this is my previous scanning so I'm gonna uh, rescan the network so now they're asking for a adapter of the internet in order to configure the whole system to scan okay so what you're gonna do you're gonna select uh, access network mode or AIM and the second one would be the control adapter so in here there is a button where you could actually allow it to auto select for you so i'm going to click on auto select right here and it will select the access internet by lan and router and then we are going we are going to reselect an auto select to pick up the control adapter so i'm going to click on auto select right here and it will pick up make sure that it actually show the ip address mac address mask gateway and gateway mac all of this column all of this box have to be displayed have to be shown or else your adapter is going weird or maybe a wrong configuration that you could not possibly scan the network at, at all so after all correct right here i'm going to click ok and then so ignore this this is just a pop-up something just click on later and then we're going to click on scan so now the network is scanning we're gonna see how many device actually stay inside our network right now so uh for those i mean for for the uh ip address or the the computer logo right here the one with the green the the blue sc screen right here it's mean that it is online which is the device is now on your network but if there is a gray screen right here it indicate that the network the device that device is not on the network or maybe offline so you can check okay so i have one two three four five six six seven eight yeah i got eight network online right now 
so I can see whether what are they doing what are they actually uh, driving the traffic I can simply just click on start yes so once you click on start you will see that oh wait you have to also select as well select all of that okay select all of that stop scan again to get more network to get more accurate device on the network and then once this scan is finished we're gonna go click on start okay so we click on start on start we can see that uh, the internet is working fine no one is actually using at all probably device online but uh, didn't actually doing any trafficking surfing or anything maybe they just uh, keep their device standby or something like that so if there is actually a traffic running you will see that there is an outgoing and income incoming data flowing right here if it is a very large one it measure in uh, kilobyte per second if there is a large traffic they're actually showing that a lot of number is running right here so you can see that who actually running the most heavier traffic on their device so now let's get to the fun part the fun part is that you can you could actually control what they are doing limiting their access limiting their speed limiting their uh, outgoing and incoming uh, data it's very simple all you have to do is to set up a rule so in order to set up a rule first of all you have to go to schedule setting so then you're going to create a schedule first uh, first of all click on new and select all of this drag everything drag everything oh sorry the trackpad is not working well on macbook i think okay drag everything right here why it's not it's not dragging okay let me uh, try to do it why is this not selecting select okay select work I mean select all right click on that and select all and then you're gonna name it to be for example block or working or no just name it all time like that all time and then you're gonna click on ok okay so now you have a schedule all time which is actually uh, every time from Monday to uh, Sunday 24 7 like that okay and then you're going to go to rule setting right here you're gonna create a new rule click on new and select the schedule so we choose all time the schedule that we just recreate just create and then click on next and now here is the fun part input the bandwidth limit so i'm gonna give them 10 the minimum is 10 so give it 10 10 kilobyte per second click on next and select all click on next select all next and this is uh, you just you can just leave it blank ignore that click on next select on block right here block click on next and finish so now you have the rule okay uh, I think I forgot to rename it so first of all you have you also have to rename so you can edit it I'm gonna click on that and edit and it and then give it a name so all time block okay block then I'm gonna click OK so now we have all time block the rule have the rule has been created inside a rule setting so that we close it so now it's time to limit the uh, device that we want them to not heavily using our network so for example for this one two three four five six this six device we want to uh, apply a rule to them to limit their access just go ahead and select all that so i'm gonna click on that and then right click and then we choose the word apply rule to host selected and then we're gonna choose which rule that we want to use on so i'm gonna use all time block the one that I just create the rule and then click on OK so that like that the rule has apply and then when I rescan and start the network okay I'm gonna rescan that 
and then let it run so we stop and then we start again so now the traffic will be blocked any access heavy access that is more than 10 kilobyte of bandwidth would be blocked and limited into 10 kilobyte per second only so this is a very easy uh, network controlling uh, application you could actually scan to see who on your device that is the number one second you can apply rule to them so that you can limit limit their access limit their speed limit their bandwidth and make them not to heavily use your uh, data and then you can enjoy using your high speed internet as usual so thank you guys for watching and if you have any uh, issue inside this video the any point any place where you not understand you can leave the comment down there in the comment section and i will be pleasure to solve all the problem that you encounter so thank you guys for watching and see you in the other upcoming video bye for now